fact, I'm reading his, his lips now. I'm not even looking at the auto cue. I take it you're here for the show. Well, let me tell you, today we've got the top websites of the week. We've got Sadaf in Albert Park, and also we've got a website for you where you can get absolutely anything you need for free. So let's roll the titles. I'll see you in a minute. Hello there, and welcome to 27 Southfield Road. The show for students, by students, meaning that everything we have on the show is real cheap, including myself. Before we get started, let, let me tell you what's happening around campus. You'll be glad to know that the shop inside the Students' Union is back open. It was shut due to problems with mice. Funny how they never ventured next door into the Union Bar. Good luck trying to close that. If you want to venture away from the campus, get yourself over to the Captain Cook's Museum in Stewart's Park for a Hawaiian themed Who Done It. The event is part of a new exhibition that commemorates the 230th anniversary of the death of Cook. It'll be running until the 19th of April and admission is free. Next, my good friend Sadaf has been out and about around the borough again this week. Today she's visiting one of the town's parks to see what it has to offer. Albert Park. Apparently there's an adult adventure playground around here, so let's go find it. There's rollerblading here, so I'm going to try to give it a go. Frustrating, but it's good fun, so you should get yourself down here. In the summer, you can come and jump on a pedalo, or you can feed the ducks anytime you want. And it goes like this. So, come to Albert Park. It's a blast. I've got to say, there's fun to be had at Albert Park. The activities don't cost much, but if you are feeling rather skint, then why not log on to freecycle.org, a website where you can find pretty much anything you need. It's all second hand, but it is free. Let's see what people think about it and find out exactly what Freecycle is. Uh, what do you think about the idea of getting given stuff for free, like TVs and furniture that people don't want to know, they just have out here for free? Yeah, it's a good idea, especially for people who can't afford new items. Off the streets. Not off the streets, like from people's houses. Say they'd had a games console they didn't want them more, like a PlayStation, and they're giving it away, would you? Yeah, I would take it, yeah. Free? yeah. I think it's a good idea. I mean, uh, if, if they don't want it anymore, then that's great. I mean, it's not going to be thrown away. It's got, someone else can use it. No problem. If it's free, give it me. <laughs> that's smart. That's, that's what I do. Any, I would take anything for free. Um, I uh, think it's a good idea. I yeah. mean, it saves you from, it'll save you money, as well as, you know, getting rid of it somewhere else so you could it could be dumped somewhere. Each year, millions of tonnes worth of rubbish is placed into landfills across Britain. Many of the items thrown away are in good condition, they're just no longer wanted. Freecycle is a website that has been set up to help reduce the amount of waste being placed into landfills. Users can put their unwanted goods onto the website and people can come and collect them free of charge. Now, the items range from sofas to slippers. This is especially useful to us students because we tend to be strapped for cash. We're now joined by Joshua Michelson, who's a regular user of Freecycle. Welcome, Joshua. Right. Uh, I understand that most of the stuff inside your house is basically filled with things from Freecycle. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, and what kind of things have you required? Um, there's computers, there's a treadmill, there's all sorts of stuff. And I understand there's 
there's a, a room upstairs that you've kitted out. Tell us about that room. Yeah, yeah, it's a multi-sensory room. I've, I've kitted it out for my little, you know, my disabled son. Um, there's like, rope lights, bubble tubes, there's just tons in and there. And that's all from Free Cycle? Yeah, yeah. So you didn't pay anything for that? Because those things yeah. cost a fortune. Oh, yeah, really. they do. Yeah. And so really, it's it's not just the sort of thing students would use, but things that a lot of people could use on a oh, broad yeah. scale. You can, you can get everything from car bumpers up to cookers and fridges and freezers. It's just wide range. I've, I've built a whole drive outside the house off donated stuff excellent well actually a lot of the stuff even that chair you're sitting on is from free cycle so and this sofa so you do get good quality and whilst we're still on the subject of websites it's time to check out our super student sites of the week one of which has tempted me into testing my cooking skills before i unleash my talent let's check them out ever wanted to go volunteering abroad but found it costs way too much my platform 2.com has the answer Platform 2 is about you making a real difference, not only to the community abroad, but to the community you live in. And do you know one of the great things about Platform 2? You get to visit some amazing places like Asia, Africa and South America. If you fancy an adventure this summer and want to make a difference, hit up the website to find out if you're eligible and apply online. And finally, are your cupboards bare? Are your culinary impaired? Do you need inspiration? Have no fear, studentrecipes.com is here. Students nationwide submit and share their kitchen creations with delights such as cheesy chicken, strawberry vanilla soup and gravy pasta. You'll never go hungry again. Some of those recipes look alright, although some look pretty nasty. So I'm going to cook something nasty. Joshua, fancy some gravy pasta? No. Your pack, well I'm making it anyway, it doesn't matter. So all we need is some ready cooked pasta, right? Gravy granules, of course. And if I just put them into my little jug here. I don't really know how much I need, but so I'll just go for it. Not tempting you yet, Josh? No. No? Right. <laughs> Bit of uh, add a bit of flavour. I'm being experimental here. Oh. Mix this up. I'm, I'm assuming this will add a bit of depth. And then I think, oh, we've got to do. Ah, oh, yes, right. Let's give this a bit of a whirl. Ah. Right, taste test. Sure, I can't tempt you, Josh. Oh no. Mm. Well, it tastes like pasta with gravy. Camera one. Excuse that. Doesn't matter, I'll tidy up later. Camera one. No, no, well, not everyone's taste, but on that note, I will bid you all a goodbye. So, thanks for joining us, and if you want any more information on today's show, log on to 27selfieroad.com. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>